yeah hello beloved welcome to the 15th video of prime world's photoshop tutorial for beginners and today we are going to be learning about the pen tool and the different tools under the pen tool now this pen tool and this path selection tool they work hand in hand so we are going to be learning about these two tools, the pen tool and the path and direct selection tools. So very quickly, let's get to it. First things first, I'll create a new layer for where I want to um, make my um, selection. Now, with this pen tool, you can draw straight or curvy shapes with it you can choose to draw your own shape whether it is made up of straight lines or curved lines okay so having created my new layer i can just go ahead and left click on my pen tool and if i wanted to create a square all i need to do is just left click once to create a node at this point come to this point left click to create another node take note of the line that formed now if you want to be sure that it will be straight just left click and hold your mouse no not hold your mouse if you left click and hold your mouse it will start creating the curved shape okay so that is for if you want to make a curved shape but if you want to make straight lines you left click and um you just left left click like this okay now there is a a window when you go to window we have or not window view we have an option to make the rulers visible okay so i can make my rulers visible by clicking it take note of this ruler uh, margins that showed here so it can help to guide me to create straight lines so if i left click and drag this here here it brings this ruler option if i come to this uh vertical part and I left click and drag it brings this option and if i left click and drag it brings this ruler and if i come here and left click again it brings this ruler so let me go ahead and undo okay okay you know what let me go ahead and delete this part so if i want to draw my path now and i want to be sure it's a straight line that i'm drawing i can just come here click at this point come here click at this point come here click at this point click at this point and click at this point so this is how i can make a full loop i can make a perfect rectangle with my path now we can fill this path with color or give it a stroke and outline but i want to make the more technical one which is creating curves with the pen tool so let me go ahead and delete this part i right clicked and this option comes and i press delete path now let me go ahead and remove okay let me go ahead and remove this um uh, change it to the move to remove this ruler outlines i don't need them anymore so i'm just removing them away returning them from where i brought them now what if i wanted to make like a wavy effect something like a wavy effect now i pick my pen tool i left click here then I come to the first, you know, offset of the wave. So I come to this point. I left click, but I don't release my mouse. I left click and drag until I form a curve like this that I'm comfortable with, something like this. Now, some people, they go ahead to just come here and left click and drag. But they, there's what it does, okay, if you do that. I undid it. It doesn't start from this point, from this point exactly, really. 
if you do that so what you need to do first if you want to start your next line from exactly this point this node that i'm pointing to we need to remove this line here and how do we do it we press and hold alt alt and we come and left click here take note as we left click here this first line removed so it therefore means that when we are clicking our next point is going to be starting directly from that node so i come here and i left click and i hold my mouse and i drag it downwards to create the curve i'm looking for so i do the same thing by pressing alt holding my alt this thing shows up and i left click so i come to this offset down here the offset for below so i left click and drag i press my alt to remove the line i come to this line around here so i left click and drag to create my curve left click i um, press my alt and left click come to this offset here i left click and hold and drag until i found my curve well press my alt and left click then come to this place and just left click and drag up downwards to create my upward curve and release my mouse then i press my alt here then i just want to join them up okay so that i can feel the parts so i come here press a node here left click here come here press a node here and come here to join it up so my my part has formed the loop now so now let's go to the part of either giving the the path an outline or filling it with color so after you create you've created your path you right click on the path and you see this option stroke path or fill path let's start with stroke path so when i choose stroke path there's the option to stroke it with the pencil option you see see other options if you have a particular brush selected you can use you you can choose to stroke it with a particular kind of brush but in this case i want to use pencil you can simulate pen pressure you can tick that if you want that now if i press ok if i press ok now take note it actually stroked it but remember you need to specify the foreground color what the color it, it, it should be it's currently on white and my background is white so we can't see it so i need to left click change it to something like red so that we can see it then i right click and i choose stroke path and i press ok and take note how it has stroked the path now the path that we selected we created is still active so we can choose to right click and choose delete path so that we can see what we have outlined properly so if i choose delete path it removes the path we selected and here is the wavy um outline we created now let me undo that Control alt z severally to remove the uh, um outlined the stroke path now i want to fill the path instead when i right click i choose on fill path now i can choose to choose the color select the particular color i want if i want the foreground color which is this top color here i choose foreground color if i want background color i choose the background color if i want to fill it with a pattern i choose pattern so let's say i want to fill it with a specific color so i click on color and i choose the color which i want to fill it with so let's say i want to fill it with purple i press ok and i come here and press ok and check out it fills it with color okay so after you do this and you are satisfied you can right click and choose delete path all right so this is how we can use the pen tool to create curvy shapes or straight line shapes now let me undo this okay and go back to the part where we just select where we just created the path so that we can learn more of these other parts now the free the free form pen tool what you just use it to do is if is more or less if you want to 
how they know that move it about okay freely if you want to adjust the parts the lines of your path okay let me undo that now for the add anchor points now take note all these nodes here this one 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 all these are called anchor points so in case you wanted to add extra anchor points to your path you just left click on the path and it adds the node there the anchor point you can now choose to click that anchor point and move it around if you want to any position you want okay so this is for add anchor points so let me undo that now there is delete anchor point what if i wanted to delete this node here if i just left click on the node you can see that that node there is gone okay so that's what delete anchor point does for you i've just undid that okay and these are the main things okay we need to learn concerning uh, this part now the convert point two is more or less if you want to convert your curve to a straight line okay the convert point two helps to convert your curve if you want to convert it to a straight line you choose the convert point two as you can see look at how it's converting the curves to a straight line let me go ahead and control alt undo all of that so that's what the convert point tool is used for now i said that the path selection and direct selection they work hand in hand with your pen tool okay so for your path selection if you want to move your path what you created around take note we are moving it around without adjusting any of the parts you use the the uh, path selection to this one okay you use it so you can see that we are moving it around let me put it back where it was now finally if you want to move if you want to adjust a particular node you choose the direct selection tool so you come here and left click when you left click on a node this line shows up okay so you can now drag this line to adjust the curve the line okay that that node is attached to as you can see i can come here adjust the lines you can see how it's adjusting the line so this is how we can adjust our path okay so yeah so let's just go ahead and that's about it you can just go ahead and just fill this path like we did with the purple color press ok press ok we can choose to delete path now since we filled it with the color we can now choose to duplicate this layer if i right click here i can duplicate this layer choose this option or i can choose that is choose this option i can call it a name if i want of the duplicated layer and i press ok and this layer is duplicated okay now we have two of these layers now i can come to this lower layer okay and i can choose to change the color by using a color overlay when i double click on the on the layer if i double click here the layer styles shows up and i can choose color overlay and i can choose to change the color to something different let's say blue something like blue and i press ok and i press ok now nothing is showing because it's directly behind this top layer but if i come and press my ctrl t i can transform the layer bring it up or i don't need to bring it up just drag it just move it i don't need to adjust it up i just need to move it up a bit okay and you can yeah and you can press enter i can use it to just form wavy effect if you want okay so it's very it's a very this this pen tool is very useful they use it to create logos this to create curvy objects and we have just seen that in action in this video so thank you very much for watching god bless you see you in the next video